Hazel Mills here. These are my top three highlights of LFO1 of the UDO Super 6. Number one, reset mode. With reset mode switched off, modulating the filter would sound something like this. So you can hear that all voices are moving simultaneously with that modulation. If I were to switch on reset mode, it would sound like this. So it gives this impression almost that the notes are being re-triggered like an arpeggiator when actually it's just the modulation behaving polyphonically and it can get even more interesting when you play around with different waveforms here. Number two, the bat wave function. This is possibly my most favourite thing about the Super 6 in general because what it does is it makes use of the alternative waveforms that you can assign to DDS1, for example. All those quite rich sounding waveforms can be assigned to LFO1 and function at a low frequency in order to use as a really cool modulation source. So how you do that is you hold shift and you move the waveform selector pot on the LFO1 one click either right or left, providing that wherever you end up is still in low frequency mode and not one of the high frequency modes. And you can see already the light is flashing at quite an erratic rate, and that's because it's following this much more rich, complex waveform. So it sounds a bit like this if you modulate the filter. And you can actually, in real time, change to a different waveform as well. If you wanted to. And you can hear the difference. There are so many of the waveforms and they all have very, very different characteristics, as you can hear. So this one's quite a lot more rhythmic. Also, I'd recommend using some really subtle pitch modulation on these because you end up with some quite organic sounding vibrato. So my third favourite thing about LFO1 is the left and right phase. And this is where the stereo capabilities of the synth really come into play. What's happening there is that each side of the LFO per voice can move either in sync or further and further out of sync depending on where you have this fader. Throw all of those things together and you have a really cool patch. <laughs> 